Hey, what's up everybody? It's Tony at VT. I wanted to teach you today on how to uh, get your RV rented for maximum profit, even if you're new to renting it out. So I just want to do a quick video and give you five tips on what you could do um, to get the ma maximum bang for your buck, if you're, especially if you're new. So the first one I want to go over is uh, research. So you want to go to uh, the RV rental websites, see, put, put in your model, and then, and then put in the dates, obviously, so you can find some, but I would put the dates out in the future so you can get RVs that are actually open and then compare the prices to like models and then see what everybody else is charging for extras and um, mileage and generator hours and things of that nature. So <clears throat> that's one of the things we do for our clients is we do a, a comparative cost analysis and we analyze the other ones in the market and that way we have them uh, you know, up for a reasonable amount because pricing is the key. The better you have a price, the more rentals you get, the more occupants you have, obviously the more profit you make. So number two is to plan. So um, it's quite a deal to uh, turn one of these RVs around. If you own one and maybe you've done it once or twice and you, you've realized how much work it actually is. I mean, it's, 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 you gotta clean it. You gotta clean the outside. You gotta clean the inside. You gotta uh, fix broken stuff. You gotta answer the calls. You gotta take the text messages while they're on the trip which is the biggest thing so you want to plan ahead and come up with some sort of plan for when things like that happen so you want to either have like a handyman on payroll you want or you know well I'll go over that in a different step but you want to make a plan on how much you plan on renting it out how many days you want in between each rental because it does take sometimes if you're especially if you're doing it yourself it could take you you know a whole day two days to even get it turned around for the next client so uh, you want to have a plan for what you're doing and then the third thing I want to go over is advertise. So, so there's a lot of good sites out there nowadays. Obviously, like RV Share is the biggest one. You can use them. You can use um, Outdoorsy is really good too. I've, I've been seeing a lot of complaints on Outdoorsy. So I guess it depends on when you see this video if they fix them or not. Um, but yeah, obviously Outdoorsy has been number two biggest in RV Share. And then there's other websites you can put it on. But be careful. I, I mean, there's been two websites in the last six months. Uh, my way and Camp Panda that have completely went out of business for the most part in the US So you got to be careful on which site you advertise on because now I've kind of lost those rentals and hopefully we can save them, but you know um, Sometimes people get weirded out when they get their money back. So we'll see how that goes But yeah, so be use the big advertising agencies uh, For RVs and and you'll usually have a fairly easy time now You will pay like a hefty commission 25 to 20 percent So you got to keep that in mind when you're doing your pricing and all that stuff, but they do have the insurance They have the infrastructure uh, They have everything you need. So it's obviously a perfect place to do it and then uh, oh, What else <clears throat> what else? Oh, find a team so if possible, you want to try to find a team. So find like a handyman. Uh, I use that homeadvisor.com and we actually found our first RV fleet manager off them, like our first phone call as a handyman. He was really good at fixing stuff and, and doing things and we pay him a certain amount per rental to go drop it off to the people, meet with them, talk with them, fix anything, schedule the cleanings and yada yada. So you want to make sure and try and build a team. And then we had a cleaning lady, obviously we did all the cleaning and then, uh, Oh, sorry, it looks like I need to take the trash out back there. <laughs> so, um, a cleaning lady, a repair guy, and then somebody to do the drop-offs and stuff. You can find like a retired person that you may know who's not doing anything, just sitting at home. Say, hey, I'll pay you, you know, uh, 50 bucks to go drop it off on this day, that day, and meet the clients. Because if you're working and you have a job and you're trying to rent this thing out, obviously it's going to take a lot of your time. And then, uh, yeah, and then the rental. So once you once you start getting them rented, you want, probably want to set up a corporation, uh, especially if you're in Nevada or some other states, you want to set up an LLC so you can take all the write-offs and set it up as a business. So then you can write off anytime you have to fix anything on it. You can write off uh, if it breaks, the extra, you know, you know, talk to your accountant. Obviously, I'm no CPA. I mean, I do got uh, two credits in junior college, and some of them are for football. So you might want to listen to my awesome tax advice. But if not, you know, go talk to your CPA or whatever, and they can tell you the best way to utilize that to write it off. Because then, if you're using it in the business, then you can depreciate the amount you paid. Now, there might be some rules on like how much you use it uh, in accordance to how much you rent it out on depreciation. So obviously, get with your tax professional on that. But if you do a few good tax deductions and you do even just three to six rentals, say you do three to six weeks of rental, I mean, shoot, that'd probably bring you in 
uh, over $10,000, which makes your whole payment for the year. And then other rentals after that is just gravy. Now, a lot of people do can do that, have the ability to do that, but they're busy with their jobs and don't have to do that. And that's where my company comes in, RV to RV rentals. Um, we, we take your RV sort of on consignment and then we handle everything for you. We do the bookings, we do, you know, the we, we answer the emails, the phone calls, we do the customer service while they're on the road, we do the cleaning, we do the detailing, we do the, um, uh, maintenance work the handyman work and all, all that stuff and we even fix them up every once in a while we keep them looking like a Marriott hotel you know our, our goal is to become similar to the Marriott of RV rentals using private RV rentals so we got a system we got different checklists that we go through on everything so and that's one other thing you want to do set up checklists for each part of the process so you can go through and you don't miss anything because even though you're a private seller or whatever everybody who's paying two three grand a week is gonna expect you to be you know just like they're staying at a Marriott Hotel they'll put the finger on the dash um, you know the countertops they'll check the you know any hair in the bathroom I mean just you know they you got to make it like a hotel so that and that's what people expect and you know if you're paying a couple thousand dollars that's probably what you would expect too um, so that's the strategy plan it out see how often you want to do it if you have a job you got to make sure that uh, uh, you gotta make sure that you have time to do it if not plan ahead find a cleaning lady find a handyman go to home advisor home advisor usually gives you two or three uh, different handyman services so call one of them and you can probably make a deal with the first one you see and you know don't be afraid to pay a certain amount because it, it is a lot of work and they can help you alleviate a lot of that cost and it's better than you having to call an RV mechanic or take it into the RV shop the RV place I bought mine from it takes two months to get a friggin appointment there so you need to have a handyman or some kind of mechanic or have some experience like that yourself uh, to really make this thing go but if you do it I'm telling you it's a great business uh, you, you, you're gonna have a great time you know doing it especially if you're gonna be using it yourself it'll pay, pay for your whole thing for the year if you want to take it a little more serious and flip it a little faster and build a team then obviously you can make a nice side extra income with yours and then if you just want to collect a check and hit the mailbox contact my office uh, we'll see if yours qualifies for our program and then we do everything that I just went over for you but if not, you can continue, and then I'll, I'm writing a, in the middle of writing a book that'll kind of go over the process as well, and you guys can pick that up on Amazon soon, so uh, subscribe below to the channel and hit the little bell, and then whenever I have new videos or new thoughts or ideas for you guys on how to rent it out, um, it'll notify you right away. All right, thanks. God bless.